Welcome to this short video on the Net Zero Navigator One Planet tool. Why do we need this tool? Well, we know that over 80% of councils have a climate plan, but we also know that implementation is hard. In developing the tool, we've spoken to a lot of local government and heard about how there's a lack of coordination across departments, how the responsible officers feel quite overwhelmed, uh, that senior management is not prioritising climate, and there's an, a need to engage much more widely. And that's where the, the, the Net Zero Navigator tool can help. So it aims to build confidence and capacity by demystifying Net Zero, by offering a set of prioritised referenced interventions that you can use. Um, it enables you to map the co-benefits of climate action, uh, building the business case for action and driving collaboration. And it helps streamline implementation by connecting up plans uh, and sharing indicators to avoid duplication. And this tool has been built by a, a range of partners, all of whom are show, shown here. The tool itself is very straightforward. You create a, an account on the oneplanet.com website uh, following the Net, uh, Net Zero Navigator link. And then once you've come to the instruction page, you input your, your basic information, where you're, where you're from, you set what, what we call the co-benefits, so how important are, are other issues such as health and well-being, inclusion, job creation or, or natural capital, and then you complete the maturity uh, self-assessment, which is 25 questions that you'll need to probably discuss with, with, with colleagues. And once you've completed this, you can then explore your data of today, where your emissions are happening today and key demographic information today, how that's likely to change in, in the future as you implement some of your strategies, how is your carbon how are your carbon emissions to come down going to come down? And then your enablers and your interventions. Your enablers are the st strategic uh, plans that you can put in place to help drive drive change. Uh, and lists out some ideas and, and strategies that you can start putting into place. Um, whereas your interventions uh, is 109 um, actions that are then prioritised by um, your specific area and, and the demographics of your area and by your co-benefits. And you can go through this list of this list of interventions, identifying those that you need to complete, those that are that are not relevant or those are already in process. And you can then see what impact that will, ha will have on, on your emissions, what, what is likely to change there. And once you've been through this process, you can then uh, click on the Export to One Planet button and all of that information will be exported into the One Planet platform. And you'll get a, a plan that maybe looks something like this, uh, where on the platform, um, the information is, is organised in three in three categories. We have outcomes, what we're aiming to achieve, uh, actions, um, how we're going to achieve that, and indicators. So in this case, we've we've clustered the actions around the co-benefits. So the, these actions have been clustered around job creation uh, or inclusion or health and well-being. So to to highlight. Uh, how these specific uh, climate actions will also drive benefits in other areas. Um, and if we then click on a, one of these uh, actions, we can see we've got all of the information that was in the, um, the, the tool, the, the cost, the return on investment, the carbon abatement cost, all of that information is, uh, is available here. But we can actually start managing that action ourselves. So uh, we can start adding... Uh, information on progress. Um, if we've got some stories on how, on how we're getting on, we can add information on those stories. So we can begin to track progress of, of what we're, we're doing and we can start allocating the actions to, to different individuals uh, to, to um, deliver. So that's how the information is displayed on, on the mind map view. There is also a table view. Uh, in the table view, we have a long list of the actions and, and the interventions and we can edit them there. And we also have a document view. So if we need to start producing reports, um, all of that information we've put in about uh, how we're progressing in delivering the action is, is stored here.
But on the platform, we can actually start connecting plans together. So this is an example we've, we've created with another organization, and it's all built around what we call the ecosystem plan. So probably the first thing to look at is, if we scroll down, there are, there are the departments. Uh, we can create a department for each, each key department in the local government, and then upload their, their plan and their strategy. And we can then use this to start creating our ecosystem plan. So in an example here, we've laid out um, the, the key outcomes and the key indicators that we're trying to achieve across all of those strategies. So we've noticed that in quite a few of those strategies, staff commuting with, with um, sustainable transport measures is, is referenced in many plans. So we can see it's in the climate plan, the transport plan, and the joint health and well-being strategy. So we can now get all of those plans tracking the, the same indicator and, st and start using only one set of information there. Now, if we were to click on one of these, the, one of these plans, that plan would open up um, and we would then be able to explore that plan. So looking at staff commuting, we can see that in, in this case, uh, we're tracking that, that data there. We've got the progress that's being made and some more stories being generated uh, within that department. Um, but we can also see that there are some actions here um, in the well-being strategy and in the climate strategy, all relating to, to transport, but they're all aiming for the same thing. So we can start joining up those actions and, and start reducing the number of people involved in, in delivering them. Uh, as well as starting to track progress on those, so uh, allocating ownership to, to the, the actions uh, and tracking their progress as well. So this is just a, a brief introduction to how we can use the, the ecosystem account to start joining strategies together for climate action.